a Muslim Sudanese woman. I'm interested in politics and law. And this is my sixth MUN conference, but my seventh UN related conference, and I'm here representing the USA in the advisory panel on the question of the Near East. So, this is one of my favorite things to do in my free time. Honestly, it's a bit of a challenge because with um, the new president imposing a Muslim man, it feels weird that I'm representing a country that I'm, not, I'm no longer allowed in and a country that I aspired to study in <laughs> next year in college, for college. It is definitely a challenge because I have to uphold policies that I don't necessarily agree with, but this is not the first time that I've done it. I've done it when I represented Israel on the question of the, the Arab-Israeli conflict. And Security Council about two years ago. So it is a challenge, but I'm not new to challenges and I love challenges. So, so far it's been really interesting, but really rewarding. I'm, I'm really upset. Not only because it affects me, but because there are other people running, like they're leave, leaving their countries for their lives, literally. They, they need to get out. For example, Syrian refugees, they need to get out of Syria. And so, um, the refugees from Somalia, they need to get out from the situation that they live in so they can actually live because their life is at stake, they're at risk. So, to me, the Muslim ban is more than me not, possibly not being able to go to college in the in fall in the USA. It's more of what about the people who can't, who genuinely need to go. And also I'm just genuinely upset because I can't see my sister for a year and a half if I don't end up going to college in the USA because of the ban and she can't leave because if she leaves she can't, she can't enter again. So it's just going to be a real difficult time for me and for my family but what can I do?